Coming up on this episode of Pixel Info, we're going to move objects based on your mouse location in ActionScript 3. Sponsored by UNoob.net, the newbie network. Music on Pixel.info is brought to you by Ekin. Welcome to Pixel.info, a show that takes a look at web, design, and video. I'm Jermbo, and today I'm going to show you how to move objects based on your mouse location. Now there are many different approaches to this, but today I'm going to show you the basics. Let's take a look. First, I want to show you how easy it is to find the middle of the stage. Make a new layer. Change layer 1 to BG and layer 2 to actions. Lock your actions layer and open up your actions panel. Quick tip, towards the bottom of your actions panel you'll see a thumbtack. Click on that to pin the script. This allows you to move around to other layers and still have access to that script lock. Go back to your timeline and select the BG layer and head back to the actions panel. Select the rectangle tool and draw a horizontal rectangle on the screen. Make sure it's selected and press 8 so the Convert to Symbol dialog box shows up. Give it a name of horizontal line, and be sure to give it an instance name of horizontal line as well. Now draw another rectangle on the screen, but this time make it vertical. Select it, and convert this one to symbol as well. Let's call this one Vertical Line. And be sure to give it an instance name of Vertical Line. Let's try and find the horizontal middle first. To do that, we need to set the horizontal line's Y location to stage dot stage height divided by two. Test the movie and see what happened. So I set the vertical line to stretch the width of the stage and I found the middle of the screen. Now let's find the vertical middle. This time we need to set the vertical line's X location to stage dot stage width divided by two. Now test the movie and see what we get. You should get a crosshair that spans the entire stage. We're doing good. Now that we know how to find the middle of the stage, let's put this knowledge to action. I'm just going to move these off stage and select the rectangle tool and draw a square. Select the square and convert it to a movie clip by pressing F8. Be sure that the registration is in the middle and give it a name of square with a capital S. Before we hit OK, click on the advanced drop down arrow and in the linkage selection, click the checkbox to export for ActionScript. Two fields now come into a focus, the class and the base class. They're already filled out, but the class field is populated by the name you gave your symbol. This is important to remember because this is the name ActionScript is gonna be looking for. Go ahead and delete this off the stage and go back to your actions panel. We need to put that square back on stage. So I'm creating an init function that'll do that. I type var square, all lowercase, and I'm gonna data type that to movie clip. And then I equal it to a new square. Next step, simply add child to the stage. Test the movie and let's see what happens. 
So the movie clip is on the top left of the screen, but only the bottom right quarter is showing. That's good, it did exactly what we told it to. Without defining the X and Y location when we add the movie clip to a stage, it puts it at 0, 0, and in Flash's case, that's the top left. So in the init function, above the add child, let's define the X and Y location. Square.x equals stage dot stage width divided by 2. And on the next line, square.y equals stage dot stage height divided by 2. Now test the movie and look at what we get. The box is in the middle of the stage. Guys, we gotta go to the fair. No, man, that shit ended like three months ago. Don't worry, dude. There's an app for that. Rock Chomper Hood! Entry! Tiki! Suge! Fuzzy Dice! Unicorn! What? Ninja! Alien! What do you want to Flick that with the finger. Now on iTunes Store! Win prize! Fun for the whole family! Yeah! Let's get this box to move. Again, above the add child line, add square dot add event listener, open parenthesis, event dot enter underscore frame, comma, move box, close parenthesis. Let's make the function move box below the add child line. Here, we need to find three things. One, where is the middle of the stage? Two, what the difference is between the mouse location and the middle of the stage? And three, we need to then convert that to a percentage. Then we need to apply that to the X location. I'm also going to need to make a speed variable. This way we can have more control on how fast the movie clip is going. Let's set that speed variable outside the init function. Now inside the move box function, let's find those variables. I'm going to start typing var middle, data type that to a unit. I'm going to set that to stage dot stage width divided by two. Next, var mouse diff, I'm data type that to init, and I'm going to equal that to mouse x minus middle. Now let's find the percentage. Far percentage, I'm going to data type this to a number, that's going to equal mouse diff divided by middle. Now we can get it to move. Let's start typing evt.target.x plus equals percent times speed. Let's test the movie and see what happens. Seems like it's working to me. Notice there's nothing to stop it from leaving the screen. We can fix that with a couple if else statements. What these are going to say is if the movie clip leaves the stage on the left, then show up on the right. And if the movie clip leaves the stage on the right, then show up on the left. Here's what it looks like. Test the movie and see what happens. Sure enough, it works. The same logic can be applied to a movie clip moving up and down as well. Here's the code to get that done. All right, there you have it. The basics of moving objects in ActionScript 3. Be sure to follow me on the Twitter book and pick up your free copy of today's project files on pixel.info. Until next time, I'm your host, Jermbo. All right, there you have it. The basis of moving ob Hey, all right, stop, all right, check it. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook and get your project free A. Hey. Well, that's it today. Uh, a tits. Jerbos, Jerbos. Is that too More, many germbos? That has way too many germbos. In case you don't know, I'm Germbo. Germbo.com, Germbo.info, Germbo.org, and Germbo.gif. I don't even know, just gif. Shut up, Dinga. Sponsored by YouNoob.net, the newbie network. Music on Pixel.info is brought to you by Akin.